Um, the question always comes with the project. If it happened as you planned, it would be great. But in real life, there are delays. And obviously, at the moment, we're going through a lot of those potentially. But there are delays in just day to days that could happen. There could be change and variances, you know, change orders that happen on it. It could be weather conditions like so. So I would want to look and see how I can impact or how I can put those into my schedule. Now, some people will extend an activity so they can see it being changed. Um, other people will insert a new activity so I could insert a new one to represent that delay in here. Oops. Like so. Um, but and other people might want to actually have it part of, you know, like, uh, it could be a client delay order or change, and that could be 10 days inside there, and that's going to impact between there, which goes out there, and oops, let's just do that, and, and this one here. So you can see that that's now had an impact on that activity. There you can see that that has an impact in it. Now that's great, we can see that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say in here, and if I just turn my lines off so you can actually see this, you can see the links going in here. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to actually select this link and go into that link properties. Now at the moment, it's defined as a normal link within my project, normal relationship. But I'm going to actually label that as a possible delay in there and when I do that you can see it actually colors it a different way and I've chosen that color in my template and this is part as well what you can set up now that's great I can see that that's a possible delay inside there now what I can do is when I go to reschedule if I go to options one of the powerful features here is that we can actually say when recalculating, when rescheduling here, I want to ignore certain types of links. And in here, I'm going to ignore possible delays. And if I do that and then recalculate my project, it's actually, although it's in here, I can now see what it was like before, but actually I'm ignoring that link. So I can put them in and I have two views of it. What's it like with the delay in? those delay links in and what's it like without those so as we go through you can see those impact in there and again down here I could actually summarize that as you know change order there and I could even say that those are actually all of my change orders so over here, I've got a list of now change orders, and I can see those and track those, and they're part of the project. Now, as I go through this, um, I'm, I have that added into it. I'm actually going to, at this point, I'm just going to remove that from there. Just come back to my standard project. Mm -hmm.